Yes. Okay, can everyone see the screen? Yes. All right. We're going to get started. All right. So everyone can see the screen, right? You just making sure that. Yes. All right. Um, today's class is called DNA Explosion. The truth is stranger than fiction. All right. So um, before we get to that information, we want to get into our up and coming event, the Winter Solstice, our Pow Wow, Winter Pow Wow. The Indigenous Aboriginal Pow Wow Celebration, it will be December the 17th, 18th, and 19th. Okay? So, I want to make sure everybody knows about that so y'all can come on out and support the event. For more information, you can go to www.dralimalbay.com to um, the page Calendar of Events. And the itinerary is there, as well as also the hotels in the area. All right. Now, um, being that we're going to be talking about DNA, I want to give you a description, a remedy, a demonstration, as well as also, I guess you can say, a way out so that your DNA cannot be used unlawfully, illegally. All right, so one of the first things that you will want to do is do what is called a copyright trademark trade name, and you want to have a cover letter with it. This is how the cover letter looks. A Saraline New Tupac El Bay in care of the address without the United States, non-assumptant, um, non-domestic. Um, the date... Then the following item were registered or recorded via the UCC1 financial statement. The county, uh, what is called the county recorder's office or the register of deeds. And of course, um, to the county courthouse or register of deeds, county recorder's office. Then you will put in notice by affidavit for notice of consequence for infringement of copyrights, trademarks, trade names, and identifying marks, patterns, all right, as well as also the same or accepted for value and are exempt from levy, all right. As you see here, I, Osaru Aline, New Tupac El Bay, the Secure Party, as I am the Secure Party creditor, Come on down. I won't read everything because this is going to be a powerful class and um, you're not going to have a lot of time to get through it. But here you see fingerprints, thumbprints, toe print, palm print, um, retina pattern, voice pattern, heat or infrared pattern, birthmarks, gene patterns, mm. bio markers, DNA. You see that? DNA, DNA typing, mm -hmm. deoxyribonucleic acid chromosomes, blood patterns, protein patterns, or codes. See, this is what you will want inside of your copyright trademark trade name, all right? And it continues on. But these are the most important when it's dealing with what? DNA, all right? Come on down. And if you notice, it says here, self-executing, all right? And then how much does it say? Huh? Look at it. How much is it for? What's the certain amount? Can everybody see that? $100 it's $100 million per each offense, y'all. So any company using... Your DNA, and based on the various things in which that we have stated, 
is valued at $100 million per each offense. All right? Now, in order to perfect the lien, it has to be in the county in which that you domicile in. All right? As well as also to the state in which that you was conceived in. All right? And I hate to say the word conceived and the word state because the only state that you was conceived in was from your mother Sakat. However, we're talking about as far as the republic. Um, so we'll come down, make sure that it is signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. No. <laughs> Please mute your background. So right here we have make sure that it's notarized and here's the UCC instructions first your nationality is done that's number one don't call me if you're trying to skip steps this is not what this is plus you skipping steps won't make it any more solidified or valid in fact it will F you up in the process Second, you will sign auto autograph your name or his name, depending on who you're working with, affidavit in power or attorney in power, authorized representative, because my name is Saraline New Park L. Bay is the authorized representative for Leanna Jerome Dancy, Gregory Allen. The affidavit once autographed will get notarized. Then all affidavits will be taken to the Register of Deeds, County Recorder's Office, recorded in the real estate section under miscellaneous. The UCC1 financial statement will first be recorded by itself as a non-UCC filing, which is the actual lien on all caps name. All right? Make sure that the area stated non-UCC filing is checked or marked. Line 6B, this must be put on the public record in the county of your birth or the county of the incident, as I stated earlier. Then the second UCC financial statement will be done as a notice of claim of lien. All right, and what will be checked will be agricultural lien is checked. Line, also on line 6B. As you are typing your, um, as you are tying yourself back to the land. In fact, in the Black's Law Dictionary, land definition states it's moors. Moors and land is synonymous. We've gone over this hundreds of times. Thus, land and moors are interchangeable. On line seven, you would now check or mark lease, leaser, cosigne, cosigner, seller, buyer. Bailey, Baylor, and Lisi, Leaser. All of them will be checked. The only one that will not be checked now is the non-UCC filing. That's the one that will not be checked. Will not be checked. All right? I'm just getting this, getting y'all to understand. Now you may get the rest of your affidavits put on the public record. Now with the UCCs and all the affidavits ready, then um, they can be sent to the Secretary of Treasury and CC to the Treasury of the United States, Puerto Rico. All right? Make sure the red registered mail tab is on front of the envelope for this will become your UCC trust account number that you will use to discharge all debts. Now, this is after all of this. But just for you being able to um, do what you need to do as far as the DNA is concerned. You have to make sure that you have your copyright, trademark, trade name, all right, on the record. Sealed and signed by the clerk of court at the Register of Deeds or County Recorder's Office. That's the most important thing. And then you can send it off to Ancestry.com, send it off to MyHeritage.com, Dot com, send it off to 23andMe, send it off to um, my family tree, 
send it off to any of these so-called quote-unquote DNA specialists, experts, all right, to make sure that your DNA is being protected at all times and that they do not have the ability in order to send off your documents, your um, DNA, or anything else to any other corporation, company, or et cetera, or country for that matter. Now, let's get into the science of blood. All right? Consanguinity. All right? It means blood relation. And it's the characteristics of having a kinship with one another being descended from a common ancestor. According to indigenous African traditions, you are a genetic byproduct of seven generations on your mother's side and seven generations on your father's side. All right? Everything that I'm getting ready to show you is within the seven generations on my mother's side and seven generations on my father's side. Among the um, Christians, Habasha, Highlanders of Ethiopia, all right, and Tria, the predominantly, predominantly um, Orthodox Christians, Amhara, and the Tigray. It is a tradition to be able to recount one's paternal ancestors, paternal ancestors at least seven generations away, starting from early childhood. Can any of us do that? That's the question. Can you name all your paternal ancestors, seven generations of them? The answer is no, and I know it. I just thought too, thought they did six. All right? But you're going to see my seven generations right now. Check this out. Because those who with a common patri um patriarchal patriarchal ancestor less than seven generations away are considered brothers and sisters. So that means within the seven generations, according to tradition, these are your brother and sisters. Y'all gotta remember this. And not and may not marry. So according to tradition you're not supposed to marry within seven generations of the same family lineage because these are actually your brothers and sisters. You might call them your cousins, <laughs> all right? Mm -hmm. But these are actually your brothers and sisters and may not marry. The rule is less strict on the mother's side where the limit is about four generations back, but it's still determined patrilineally, all right? So we're talking about we are a byproduct of seven generations on our mother's side and seven generations on our father's side. All right? So this is proven once again, even within the particular ancestry. And if you do marry back in before the seven generations, that's when you have children that have handicaps. That's the possibility. That's the reason why. Right? Mm -hmm. Seven generation sustainability is a concept that urges the current generation of humans to live and work for the benefit of the seven generations into the future. Now, hold up. Listen to that. So these same seven generations that you're supposed to know that are actually your brothers and sisters, we all are supposed to do what? To sustain the next seven generations to work together for the future. Get you more clear. It is believed to have originated with the Iroquois, the great law of the Iroquois, which holds appropriate to think seven generations ahead, about, which is about 140 years into the future, and decide whether the decision they make today would benefit their children seven generations into the future. It is frequently associated with the modern, popular concept of environmental stewardship or sustainability, but is much broader in context. All right. So... Keep this in mind, because this is the Iroquois, which means the indigenous American traditions. So not only have we shown you the African traditions, we also have shown you the Iroquois indigenous American traditions, and both traditions are the same. 
Overstand? Mm -hmm. So, let's continue on. So as you see here, you see me, which would be self, then my two parents, my four grandparents, my eight grandparents, my 16 great-great-grandparents, my 32 great-great-great-grandparents, my 64 great-great-great-great-grandparents, and my 128 great-great-great-great-great-grandparents. Those are the seven generations. Once again, from self to 128, those are the seven generations in which that we are speaking on. Now, how we know? Because right here in the next um, graph, we show you seven generations, great, 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 great grandparents, 128 of them. How much DNA? 0 0.78. So as you see here from you, which is me, would be 50% of my parents, half and half, then 25% grandparents, 12.5% great-grandparents, 6.25% great-great-grandparents, 3.2% or 12% great-great-great-grandparents, 1.5% great-great-great-great-grandparents, and then 0.78 great-great-great-great-great-grandparents, 128 of them. So this means that this goes back. To the point of where the line is almost what? The DNA is almost out of the bloodline. So it takes about seven generations. All right? 0.78% is less than 1%. This is your genetic bloodline here. Everybody understand what I'm saying? All right. So we continue on. This is just another table of um, concerning quininity. Showing You're showing the degrees of relationship. Once again, now, this is the same thing here. Identical twins, 100% genetic or DNA shared. Fraternal twins, like my wife or and her brother, 50% shared. Parents, Child, 50% shared. Siblings, 50% sh shared. Half siblings, 25% shared. Great uh, grandparents, grandchildren, 25%. Aunt, uncle, niece, nephew, 25% shared. Half aunt, half uncle, half niece, half nephew, 12.5% shared. Double first cousin, 25%. First cousin, 12.5%. Half first cousin, 6.25%. Great great grandparents, or great, excuse me, great grandparents and great. Grandchild, 12.5%. Great grand aunt, grand uncle, grand niece, grand nephew, 12.5%. First cousin, once removed, 6.25%. And second cousin, 3.125%. All right. So now we understand the connections through the seven generations. Now I get into my mother's side of the family, which is the Francis the Days, and the Clark family. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get into that. Of course, it is more extensive than this, but these are the ones in which that we're going to be dealing with. So we're talking about how many Cincy Morgans do you share with your relatives? All right? Look at this graph here, and this will help you understand even a little bit more. I don't have time to go through all of it right now. All right. So, my grandfather, Joseph, deceased, days. Now, who's the days? We look here for the family of the days history. And it says what? Of certain origin, it is found of French Huguenot named in England. It All may right. also be a variant of Irish descent. All right. So, the French Huguenots, this is what I was talking about the other week, is that my ancestry is the French Huguenots. Mm -hmm. All right? Days of the French Huguenots. Now, the Huguenots were a Islamic family in which they converted to Christianity. They were Morisco. All right? So they was Moors, but became Morisco. But these are the days because they was once part of the family of days. Now, when you look up the word days... Look here. What is days? 
D E Y. What is one of the five families of the Moors? The nobility titles. The nobility titles of the Moors is Al, Ali, Day, Bay, and Ali. Well, Il. Mm -hmm. So Day is one of those families. So my name already, mm -hmm. family wise, immediate family, was a nobility title. And as you see here, D E Y I S. Also is D E Y S. Mm -hmm. Day. So what do day mean? A raised platform as at the front of a room for a lecture. Throne. Seat of honor. Mm -hmm. So my name, Days, is from the days of the Moors. Mm -hmm. I'm, that's my lineage already. The French Empire, as we told you all before, was one of the Moorish empires. And I will prove to you that exquisitely, how this all connects. So, my aunt told me that my name at birth was Damien Days. All right? Butler. And we'll get to that. So, right here. The Days family history. Historically, surnames evolved as a way to sort people into groups by occupation, place of origin, clan affiliation, patronage, parentage, adoption, and even physical characteristics like your hair. Many of the modern surnames in the dictionary can be traced back to Britain and Ireland. All right, so continue on. Janissary Day. Day is from Day's family from. You can see how Day's family moved over time by selecting different census years. The Day's family names were found in the U.S., Canada, Scotland between 1840 to 1920. The most Day's families were found in the U.S. in 1880. In 1840, there was one Day's family living in Virginia. This was 100% of all the recorded Day's in the U.S. Virginia has the highest population of the Days family in 1840. All right. So, as you know, we're talking about the, forming or the formation of the Virginia Company. This is part of that lineage. I'll show you again because right here you have what? The Janissary Days. Days. Mm -hmm. Which is part of what? The Ultima Empire. Mm -hmm. It was the first, um, basically, uh, Garrison, Garrison um, Turnus or Tunis with 4,000 Janissaries. Janissaries taken from their occupation or occupying forces in Algiers. All right. The troops were primarily Turkish or were they recruited from um, Antolia. The Janissary coup, or coup were okay. under the immediate command of their Egha, which is her master. The junior officers were called days. So this is where we get our name from. It's from the remnants of being of the Islamic ultimate empire, the days. Hence, the D-E-Y-S become D-A-I-S, which is from the D-E-Y, the day. All right? Because the person who is over the days is called the day. This new leader was called the Day, elected by his fellow white Days. You see? Mm -hmm. So this is how all of this correlates, right? Joseph Days. That's my grandfather, great-grandfather, then my grandfather, Joseph Day Jr. I'm not going to show... A lot of information because we got there's so much. All right, this is my aunt Cecilia. All right, come down, son. Damn, this is her. Jing her little L. Mm -hmm. This is my mother, Emily 
Felina Days. All right, this is my grandmother, Evelyn Francis. All right, Evelyn Maud Francis, born April the 29th, 1912, New York City. Her cousin Estella um, Francis, born in St. Kitts. As her husband, Joseph Days, was also born in St. Kitts. All right. Now, understand, this is what Tom, this is what Benjamin Franklin said, who was actually Richard Saunders. The real Benjamin Franklin was actually Benjamin Bay, Emmanuel Moali, known as Benjamin Banneker. All right. But this is what it says. All Africa, Asian, and America are swarthily black. Russian, Italian, Spain, French, French. Keep that in mind. The Swedes and the Germans are black. All right. Even the name Arnold Schwarzenegger means black of the black. Mm -hmm. All right. So even Arnold Schwarzenegger can't get away from it. All right. The black German king, George II, is sitting on the throne of England. And of course, um, King George III becomes the individual that we now know who was married to Sophia Charlotte. All right. Now, this is the book of Jewish and crypto-Jewish surnames. So this is dealing with those who are Hebrew. In the book, it is Francios or Francis. All right. Anglo-French. Frenchman, Freeman, Anglo-French, Francis. All right. So the word French, that means right there, we were never slaves. The word Francis means specifically free men. We was the free men. All right? Right there, off the bat. These names have no Galaic background, which is with background being Francis. The Frenching is nevertheless quite numerous in the Galaic speaking areas near gateway cities as well as in Belfast. All right, so Huguenots and fellow travelers. The Carolinians, like Virginia, Maryland, have no official Jewish settlements, but present an overbrimming abundance of individual Jewish and crypto Jewish surnames entering the mid Atlantic region during the colonial period. Many of these colonists came as Huguenots or Quakers from English and Irish ports. Charleston served as a magnet for them. All right, so right there, not only did we show you that Francis is Huguenots, all right, which is my grandmother's last name, is Huguenot lineage, but the Huguenots came in from France, from England, from Scotland, Wales, Ireland. He was Moors, all right? Right here, notice that I'm from the family of the Moors, Moorish Hebrews. Because you remember, the name Francis is in the crypto, the Jewish and crypto Jewish book. These was more, these was Moorish Hebrews. All right, who became Christians, more Christos. All right. You're going to see that the same places here, the Carolinas, which is south of North Carolina, Virginia. Remember, they just said that the days also was in Virginia, mm -hmm. as the largest number of them were in Virginia, right here in Maryland. So we come down. The prosecution of the Huguenots. Mm -hmm. The first French colonists to the New World were the Huguenots, a group of Protestants who were followers of the doctrine of the French theologian John Calvin in the years between 1509 to 1564, believed that the symbols and the rituals of the Roman Catholic Church were useless and that the only instruments necessary to achieve grace was the Bible. In their view, salvation and grace were available only to a few people, the elite, which God had already chosen to receive divine favor. Many French Huguenots were from powerful, noble families. All right. We're going to stop it right there. So the French Huguenots that I'm descended from was already from powerful, noble families. 
which means they was already part of the royal bloodline in Europe. All right, and I'm just showing you all of this because there's a lot of information in which that is going around saying that I'm not part of the Empress family. So we're going to see how much I am part of the Empress family in a minute here because we already see that I'm part of the noble family, at least on my mother's side of the Huguenots, which was part of the noble families of Europe which means the royal families of Europe, all right? So, we continue on, the Huguenots, they was what? Now colonized, uh, um, what is now called South Carolina, Florida, where my aunt still lives in Florida to this very day. The Huguenots settled in what is now Jacksonville, Florida, all right? We come down, they was also in New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, South Carolina. These are the exact same places of the Huguenots and also of my family lineage from the Huguenots. All right? And you will see something very interesting because the Empress have the bloodline also mentioned of the Huguenots. Mm -hmm. So, right here, it tells you France sold the whole Louisiana territory to the United States, which is not true. In 1803, we know that was the Moorish territory known as the Washita proper which became known as Louisiana Purchase, which it was never purchased, right? But it says most French Americans quickly assimilated, blended into the mainstream culture. Only Louisiana and the lesser extent New England maintained cultures that was distinctively French. So we had a population of the Huguenots to go into Louisiana. Where was the Empress at? She was in Louisiana. Where's the land in which that starts as the Louisiana Purchase is started at is the watch store proper is in where Louisiana. All right, so we continue on showing you historical connections, showing you biological connections. All right, so this is according to Brother Dooley, um, Abdullah Mosley Bay, um, his book Moors and Masonry. All right, now if you notice, he speaks of an individual by the name of Henry Lawrence, Henry Lawrence. All right, 19, um, 1777, all right, so. In 1777, the emperor of Morocco recognized the United States. All right, so who was president at that time in 1777 that recognized the United States? It was, check this out, also the, the Paris Peace Treaty, 1783. This is Henry Lawrence. What it says, French President Huguenot. Henry Lawrence was a French Huguenot. Wow. You see how we put this information together? This, this, this blows everything in which that anyone can say about ancestry out the box. That's why it's so important to get yours. Right, and to know who you are. Mm -hmm. All right, so right here, one of the French Huguenots, that was the president during the time of the recognition of the United States by the Moors was a French Huguenot, a Moor himself, named Henry Lauren, president. Now, do you know if he was so-called melanated? Oh, yeah, we're going to find that out in a second. The earliest form of hereditary surnames in Scotland were the patriomic surnames, which are derived from the father's given name, and the metriomic surnames which are derived from the mother's given name. Scottish patriomic names emerged as early as the mid-ninth century and the patriomics were derived from a variety of given names that were of many different origins. The surname Francis mm. is derived from the popular medieval given name Francisios. Francis is a Form is formed when a son uses his father's personal name as a surname, but in this case, the surname was originally derived from the famous religious figure Saint Francis of Assisi. Now, this is a picture of Saint Francis of Assisi here to the left. Notice his hair, his beard, kinky. Those are kinky. I'm sorry, y'all. That is not that long flowing hair that you might be used to seeing. <laughs> that means that he was what. A more, he was a Morisco. Overstand? Now, if that's hard for you to understand, here is Francis Xavier. Xavier Francis. All right? Who is he? A more. Mm -hmm. This is his actual sculpture. 
-hmm. His actual sculpture. Look at it. This is my family, last name, bloodline. This is who I lineage. lineage. Mm -hmm. All right. So here, the early origin of the Francis family. The surname Francis was first found in Derbyshire, where they held a family seat from every ancient time. So we held the family seat. This goes back to what we were saying about the throne or uh, family of nobility. All of this has already been said all over, and it keeps being said over and over again for the Francis name. So no wonder you and everyone else that's on the line is drawn to this information. That's powerful. Right. The early history of the Francis family. The webpage shows only a small excerpt of the Francis research because they're not really wanting to get this information back out to us. Exactly. But see, when you know, when you have historical blood, blood it reads from out your DNA. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that anybody can do about when your DNA comes to light, about who you are. All right? So right here. The name Francis is also from Francisco. This is the surname of the Roma, the Roman Latin origins. It's derived from Franciscus, which was originally both an ethnic name used to describe a Frank, later to be known as a Frenchman. Or a free man, where the name Freeman also is connected to this set. Mm-hmm. Which later, which came from the fifth century, which means free man. In the latter days of the Roman Empire, the Romans were permanently at war with the Franks. So it may be that the name was used as a derogatory term by the Romans for somebody who claimed to be a free man. Be that it may, the later surname, which dated from the twelfth century, became hugely popular worldwide. There being over two hundred spellings. This ranged from the relatively obvious English spelling of Francis, the French Franciscos and Frances, the Spanish and the Italian Francisco and Franci. However, which we come to diminutive, the etymology is less easy to follow with examples such as the Iberian Pachio, Pachon, and Pachu. This is Spain and Portugal origins. The almost as extraordinary Italian diminutive of Siscio, Giotto, and Siscu Sietia, <laughs> the nickname for we'll Scotty. Um, that's deep because while I'm reading this, it's like, remember the diary of Anne Frank and how these people had to hide, you know, upstairs in plain sight because they were being slaughtered because of their melanated bloodline. Right. That's exactly what that was. Mm -hmm. um, this is the Francisco Coat of Arms. Um, the surname of Francisco in its many forms throughout Europe was originally derived from the old French word Francis, an ethnic name for Frenchmen. All right. Anytime that they use the word ethnic, you already know what they they're dealing with. Us. They're talking about <laughs> us. Understand that. That's, yeah, All right. Yeah, I just wanted her to read that. We ain't got to continue no, on because, because, because. We just wanted to get that ethnic up in there because you know that's when they are referring to us. Mm -hmm. This is Francisco. This is one of my family crests. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. This is the many names in which that my wife was just talking about. Francisco, so Franciscus, which means inhabitant of France. Also, the word Francis means free man, as we already seen. So here we have um, the English um, from the personal name Francis. All right, those various names. This was originally an ethnic name, Frank Hence Frenchman. The personal name owned much of its popularity during the Middle Ages to the fame of St. Francis of Assisi. Right, and we already showed you that he was melanated. Mm -hmm. That curly hair, you can't, you can't bypass that. We all got it. We all got it, all right? So this is just the origin of the name Francis once again. Same thing in which that we just finished reading. Is being told here a little bit more lengthy. I won't go into all of that. Now, when you get to the name Francis, this is my family's crest. We get into the same information again. We won't reread that. And we come on down. All right. These are the Francis in which that is. So not only my grandmother is named Francis, hence make me a Francis. Here are my cousins, 
from my bloodline, first cousins, second cousins, third cousins, fourth cousins, fifth cousins, all of them are Francis, as you see here. All right? Now, that's just one part of the bloodline. So that's the Francis bloodline. And we know a considerable portion of the blood of the southern Negroes of the United States is unquestionably Indian. This is by Smithsonian Institute Bureau of America. All right. According to the Europeans, you are not part of no Indian nation if you don't have a legitimate ancestors on the Dulce Road. Well, let's see if I have any ancestors named Francis on the Dulce Road. But before we get to that, we're going to go back to the book of Jewish and crypto Jewish surnames. All right. And let's find another part of the name Francis. What does it say? Francis is the Anglo-Norman and Scottish surname, meaning from France. It is a sept of clan stewards. Hold up. Now, who's the stewards? King James was a steward. Uh-oh. Typical of the name is the Francis group who landed in Virginia in 1608. There were also a famous firm of Jewish silversmiths in Georgia named Francis. Mm. Some of which these Francis's intermarried with the Creek and, and the Cherokee, Cherokee Indians. Oh, you see how, see, see, this is scholarship. See, this is how you do scholarship. Right here, grandmother's family surname bloodline, Francis, and look who's on the Doss Road. Cherokee blood. Uh-oh, the Cherokee blood. Samuel Francis, Nancy Francis, Carrie Francis, Chicken Jack Francis. Uh-oh. Uh oh, we keep going. Here go the chicken sauce out of us. Katie Francis, Perry, Percy Francis. Uh oh, keep going. The creek. Oh, here go the creek blood. There we just finished saying. Full blood. Uh oh, Minky Francis. These are full. These are full blooded. Full blooded Francis. Indigenous. Indigenous. So did we marry into them or remember we were the Francis, which was the nobility bloodline from what they referred to as France who settled in South Carolina, Louisiana, North Carolina, and Virginia. And be married into, as they say, into the bloodline of the Francis. Or oh, hold up, could been up the Francis, could he? Because the Francis is actually the name on the Dulce Road. Okay. So, oh, wow. Mm. So not only will it be Creek, Chickasaw, and Cherokee, the same bloodlines in which that they just finished claiming was married into the Francis, intermarried with the Creek and the Cherokee Indians. Okay. So that makes me Cherokee. That makes me Creek. That makes me Chickasaw. It makes you Washita. Uh-oh, makes me Washita. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here goes some more Francis. You see how they, that name just, just keep going and going. Uh-oh, now we find out that Prince Bay is on my mother's side. Ooh. I'm related to Prince Bay. Uh oh. Uh-oh. 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 Mother side. Family family of Clark. Of the Clarks. No wonder he was drawn. Crown Prince Hutan Tupac Bay, Miss Norman Clady um Elliot Claiborne Clark is his birth name. Uh oh. Wow. Uh oh. My wife didn't even know this part. I I, I didn't I didn't tell her this part right here. She knows the other parts. Prince Bay. Prince Bay. So right here, this is Prince Bay, certificate of live birth from the Empire Washington D. Doug Nemanja. As you see here, his mother and father, Ewell Franklin Clark and Kathleen Avial, uh, Avial Clark. That was his mother and father. His name at birth was Elliot, as the Empress would say, but right here, Elliot Claiborne Clark, Prince Hutan P- Tupac Bay, de facto incorrect, Elliot Claiborne Clark, ex relations, Prince Ramesses Abel Bay. So he was a Clark. He was able to, um, y'all. I'm related to the Clark. You saw something need to be done, he did it. Say it again. I learned a lot from him. Exactly. We learned a lot from him. Mm-hmm. So, this is his Empire Washita card, Prince Ramesses Bay. This is his United Washita Indigenous card, 
Prince Sultan Tupac Bay. War You See, 2003. This is Prince Bay, right here. All right, Brother Akhenaten right there. I think he still works at WRFG there in Atlanta Community um, Radio. This is Prince Bay again. In the he, black. Used to, he used to love that um, hat right there. Yes, we still got we still it. got that hat. <laughs> you had it on the altar. This is Prince Bay right here once again. And this is Prince Bay with the Empress. All right, so you have the Empress and Prince Bay. Then you have me in front of Prince Bay. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, learning. learning. Crown Prince Hutan Tupac Bay of the Empire Washington, founder of the United Washington, speaks. The Washington of the original inhabitants of what is now named the North, Central, South America is adjoining islands. Therefore, the Washington are not Indians, which is a federalized term. We do not accept the name. African American, colored, or Indians. We, the people of North America, are predominantly Washington, the ancient mound builders. We were here thousands of years before the amalgamated so called Indian. The Washington Empire has many, has had um, on many descendants, right? That's, that's a misnomer before. Example, the 12 Shoshone, Cherokee, Creek, which remember, I'm related to the Cherokee and Creek. Francis is on the Cherokee, is on the Dawes Road as the Cherokee and the Creek and the Chickasaw. Those first three, I'm that. Now what else can be said? Mm -hmm. I'm going to get to my side of the Choctaw, which is the Washita in a second, and we're going to really see what's what. So right here it says the Choctaw, Seminole, the Shoshone, uh, Blackfoot, excuse me, the Arakara, the Suet, um, the, Kios, the Kiowa, the Mohawk, the Cheyenne, the Mandan, the um, the Yamasee, the Arawak. I'm going to show you my Yamasee side in a second, too. The um, Arawak, the Lumbee, my Lumbee side in a minute, too. Um, the um, Montauk, um, right here, the Nanakote Moors, which is the Lenape, Ben Ishmaelite, the Melungeon, which I'm going to show you my Melungeon side in a minute, too. All right? The Mohican, the Comanche, the Nice Piers, um, the Neshi, um, Neches, um, the, pa the Pawnee, the Washoe, the Tuscarora, the Tapawa, the Tapawa, the, Tapawa, the Mac, Micmac, the Osage, the Geniskin, the Manapani, the Powhatan, the Wapanaki, the Wapanang, and many more tribal names. The fact of this rings true in the Treaty of Camp Holmes. Now remember in the Treaty of Camp Holmes, the treaty with the Comanche and the Wichita Indians and their associated bands for the purpose of establishing the white and perpetual peace and friendship between the United States of America and the Comanche and the Wichita nations and their associated bands and tribes of Indians. And between these nations or tribes and the Cherokee, the Muscogee, the Choctaw, the Osage, the Seneca, and the Quapa. Now, the Muscogee is the Creek. So once again, the Cherokee and the Creek. So I can speak on the, the Treaty of Camp Holmes because... My lineage is from the Cherokee and the, and the Muscogee, which is the Creek. All right, here, the Choctaw, too. We're going to show you that, Osage, Seneca, and Quapa Nations, and the tribes of Indians. All of these tribal nations together were and are the remnants of the empire washed or didactamania. It's called the Ultima Empire, the Moroccan Empire, the um, Ghana, Mali, and Songhai Empire, the, uh, uh, the Kushite, Misra, or Misereen, which is the Egyptian Empire. All of that is one in the same empire, y'all. All right, one in the same empire. Now, Eliza Turner. All right, Eliza Turner, she's Turnica. All right, she's Quitman, all right, um, by marriage, which is through John A. Drew Quitman, which is Kittawa. All right, Quitman is actually is Kittawa. John Drew Kittawa. All right, as he was from the Kittawa, which one of the five names of the full blooded Cherokee or Chohari. All right, now Eliza Turner, I'm gonna show you how I'm related to the Turner family. I'm related to the Washita family, mm -hmm. which is the Washington and the Turner family, pure blood. All right, we continue on. This is on my father's side. So, on my mother's side, I'm related third cousin 
to Prince Bay. Uh oh. Uh oh. So who's really the heir to what we refer to as Mason Rouge? The Marquis de Mason Rouge? Mm. I'm Prince Bay's third cousin. And I'm going to show you I'm also related to the Empress, third and fourth cousin. Oh, this it's coming. It's coming. Oh, I'm just setting it up right now. So right here. Read for me. Upon the death of Amaria and King Louis the Seventeenth, the titles of the Louisiana Dauphin and the Regent Marquis de Mason Rouge were conveyed to the next in line to the Imperial French Crown, Louis Francis Joseph de Bourbon. Uh oh, Francis, they go that name again. Prince uh oh. So I have the Francis name. You hear about the French crown. My people allegedly is from the Huguenots who was in France, who also came to the Americas, and they established what we now refer to as South Carolina. They was in Louisiana, married into the family of the Washita, and we're going to see all of these connections in a second. So I'm a byproduct of all of this. The Moors. All right? Continue on. Prince de Conte of 1734 to 1814, the son of Louis Francis de Bourbon, Prince de Conte 1717 to 1776, the daughter of Amaye Ross and King Louis the 17th married Louis Francis Joseph de Bourbon, Prince de Conte. As a second Marquise de Mason Rouge, Louis Francis Joseph de Bourbon became the recipient of both the Imperial Spanish Land Grants of 1762 and the Spanish Land Grants of Monroe. Louisiana, with the death of Joseph de Bourbon, had eldest son Henry Joseph Turner inherited the Mason Rouge estate. Henry Joseph Turner became the recipient of 1762 and 1795 Imperial Spanish Land Grants making him the third Marquis de Maison Rouge. Henry Joseph Turner married Sarah Turner, Tunica, and from this union came their eldest son, Joseph Henry Turner, the fourth Marquis Maison Rouge. Timothy Drew, another Prophet, one of my cousins. Timothy Drew, also known as Prophet Noble Drew Ali, another one of my cousins, was Prince and Fifth Regent Marquise de Maison Rouge by and through his mother, Eliza, a daughter of Sarah Tonica and Henry Joseph Turner. Eliza Tonica Turner married John A. Drew Quitman, one of the five names for the Cherokees, according to the oral statements and prophecies. Prophet Noble Drew Ali said, I am the fifth and last prophet, and I am five times more powerful than I was before. This is the reason why Noble Drali is referred to as a prophet, because he had land, land of milk and honey. Canaan to us, a um, Asherian, biblically called Israelite. Too unlike the allegorical fictional character Moses, whose story is based on the Amenhotep the fourth Ankh Aton to go to. Moreover, Brother A. Wise, past Grand National Secur Secretary, said that the Holy Prophet said, I didn't tell anyone where I was born at or who my parents were because I didn't want people to make a shrine out of the place or make over my parents like was done with Joseph and Mary. All right. So um, he might not have had to do that at that time period, but um, because the Negro um, tood. Well, because we <laughs> rather because, fight each other instead of build, right. we, you have to. Right. So I have to reveal my ancestry in order to quiet all this nonsense in which that is going on and to prove who I am, mm -hmm. all right? This wouldn't be necessary if it wasn't for um, people trying to downgrade me and um, bypass what I'm doing as if they're trying to reinvent the wheel, but yet has not showed any documentation whatsoever. I'm going to show you ancestry connections, after ancestry connections of who I am historically and DNA wise. This is why this is called DNA explosion because the truth is stranger than fiction because not only am I related to um, the third cousin to Prince Bay, mm -hmm. I'm also related to the Empress, mm -hmm. 
I'm also related to her husband, John Gaston, mm. who was also um, the sixth Maison um, um, Mason Rouge holder of the Spanish land grant. All right. I'm also related to Prophet Noble Drali, as you see here, by way of the Turner or Tunica family. And I'm going to show you all of this. And this is the reason why, obviously, Prince Bay um, was felt, drawn, to drawn to me. He must have felt the same thing. There was something, you know, so let's But you know, the real here. people know. I mean, come on, but you yeah, come out real. of nowhere. You disrespect the people. You already see you're not going to be on the scene long. Right. It's, it's, it's silly. It's silly. Right. To even be confused. Right. It's silly to be confused, but this is to help anybody who is confused. Is confused. <laughs> okay. That's the, that's the science. So, all right. So, right here, um, this is a complete connection of the Maison Rouge. All right? So, you continue on. I won't go into all of that. Valuable. So, right here, the common perception that Indians never formed a substantial portion of North America's total slave population has, in part, is roots in the routine reclassification of Indians as blacks. Then began shortly after the British moved towards the establishment of a chattel model of slavery. This reclassification systematically wrote Native Americans out of the official records. All right, this is how we became Negro blacks in college, sure. But yet, predominantly, the vast majority of us were the Indians. All right? So right here, we come down. Study of the Americas. Native American adoption, captivity, and slavery in changing context. That's where that information came from. Read the book. This is back to the book of the Jewish and the crypto-Jewish surnames. Now, I'm going to stay on this because this gives you some good information on how you also are the Hebrew Israelites. Clark is usually a British or Scottish surname, although it can also be French, German, Spanish, or just about any other origin if translated from that language. The term cleric originally denoted a member of a religious order. However, these were the only people who were taught to read and write. The term eventually came to refer to an literate man. Thus, the name Clark may refer to a scholar, a scribe, a secretary, or a member of a religious order. Now, this is strange because Prince Bay was part of a religious order yeah. of the Moorish order, all right? In particular, he was part of the more scientific. Well, that's that's Ikram too. Indigenous cosmic go to Ray order Melchizedek. All right, he formed that all right order, in which that is part of our order to this very day in the United Washington. Mm -hmm. But he was also a member of the more science temple of America. All right, and he was the secretary in the more science temple of America. Mm -hmm. So he was fulfilling his name. His mm -hmm. name is Clark, and his bloodline. And his bloodline. All right. Now, we continue on. This is his certification or certificate of ordination. The individual that he was sitting next to was Dr. Al Stewart. Mm -hmm. Stewart, uh-oh, I'm related to the Stewarts too. So that's deep. Prince Bay was related to the was um Building with the Stewarts. Building with the Stewarts. Here it is right here. Dr. Al Stewart. And I'm related to the Stuarts, all right? As you see, I'm related to Prince Bay. Now, the verification and proof of more of this with Prince Bay is this. Let's look at it. So someone trying to come, all you need is your documentation. So here go the names of all the clerks that I'm related to that took the test. Hold on, let's, let's get this. We're talking about second, third, fourth cousins of the Clarks. Look at this. And here comes the bombshell. Uh-oh. This you and Alvin Clark. You know who Alvin Clark is? Hmm. Oh, let's see. This is how I found out that I was related to Prince Bay. 22%. He's my third cousin. 
third cousin. Uh oh, Prince Bay and Alvin. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Alvin Clark is Prince Bay's brother. <gasps> oh, <my gosh. laughs> oh yeah. This is, oh, I'm destroying you with this information. With this is truth, this man. is the truth. Truth is stranger than fiction. Ooh. So right here, Eula Clark, come keep coming down. Look at all these Clarks. Ooh. All these Clarks. Yeah, this is my family. Second, third, fourth, and fifth cousins, Clarks, and Prince Bay was part of that. A lay salam upon Prince Bay. Wonder why we was drawn together for nine years mm -hmm. and he was my teacher. Mm -hmm. And he taught you about this United Washita truth. Exactly. Which can't nobody take away. So how can anybody come in and take anything can't away can't when I'm related away. to the man? I'm his third cousin. Oh. Can't take nothing. So right here, the Doss Road, whose name is on here? The oh. Clarks. Remember. Cherokee. This is who? Cherokee. Once again. So my family is Cherokee from the France, Francis, from the Clarks. It's all here. Cherokee, Cherokee, Clark is 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 Cherokee. The Clarks are, it seems, are exclusively Cherokee. Look at that. Cherokee, Cherokee, Cherokee. The Clarks are exclusively Cherokee. This is who the Clarks are. So my third cousins are Cherokee, who are the Clarks. My fr Francis are my first cousins, second cousins, and they are Chickasaw Creek and Cherokee. Can't take nothing away. Uh-oh, we got some Clarks now that are Chickasaw. Here go the Chickasaw portion. Crazy. All the way at the end. All the way at the end. Yeah. See, you can't take nothing away. This is DNA. This is genetics. This is ancestry. This is pages and pages. Look at that. Here go the Choctaw. <laughs> now we got the Choctaw. Now we got the Choctaw. I told you I got Choctaw. Oh, yeah. The Choctaw, the Cherokee, the Creek, which is the Muscogee, and the Chickasaw. I'm all five Tribe. tribes and one niggas. <laughs> all right. Look at that. More Choctaw. More Choctaw. More Choctaw. Prince Bay is Washita. This is why he was drawn to the Washita because he's Choctaw. Mm -hmm. One and the same. They go to Creek. They go to Creek Clarks. We got the Creek Clarks. We got the Seminole Clarks. They go to Seminole Clarks. Okay. God damn it. I told you. All five and one. So I was just reading an article by Brian um, Wilkes a Cherokee language instructor. All right, and what did he say? All right, he says, it's concerning the Cherokee Berber connection. Who's the Berbers? Those in which I just showed you that came from my Hebrew, Israelite, Moorish ancestry, the France. They were the Berbers. So this have now the Cherokee and the Berber connection. Who's the Berbers? The Berbers are the Babur. Who was them? Originally, they were the Kushites. Here it is. Here are excerpts and perhaps something to think about if you're a Cherokee mixed blood, considering DNA tests or have gone through the DNA testing process. What do you say? Let's continue. Let's come on down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on down. Old Cherokee migration legend suggests of an ancient connection with the Berbers of North Africa, which is what? Morocco. Morocco. So when they talk about Morocco was under French um, control, those were not white Frenchmen. Right. Those were the Berbers who were the Moors who came from out of France who went into Morocco. The Berbers are tribal people whose land once stretched from Mauritania to the Atlantic Ocean, to Libya, on the Mediterranean Sea, and also related to the Phoenicians and who? The Carthaginians. In other words, Hannibal. 
So here's my father's side of the family now. Okay. We just did the mother's side, and you see Prince Bay is on my mother's side of the family. Everybody so that means you can't. Ali. Right? No, not him. That's on your father's side. Yeah, that's on my father's side. Okay. I'm getting ready to get to that now. Okay. So Prince Bay is on my mother's side of the family. The France, all right, the Francis, all right, as we seen all the was the noble families of the royal bloodlines of Europe, who was Moors, all right who was also originally the Bourbons. And now this is my father's side, the Butler, Washington, Turner, Gaston, more bloodlines. Oh, yes. See, this is how you prove this shit. Mm -hmm. And you, this is how you shut niggas up, because I heard that someone <laughs> said that I wasn't part of the family of the Washington Turner family, so why would I be interested in this? Well, obviously, my DNA spoke <laughs> differently. <laughs> obviously, my DNA spoke differently. Because now my DNA... Is going to have a whoop somebody real bad for trying to come and upsert someone who is really in the family bloodline. So it here, always happens. always happens because truth is stranger than fiction. Remember, that's the name of this title. All right. The truth is stranger than fiction. So as we continue coming down. All right. This is my cousin, first cousin, Aisha Bright on my father's side and the Brights. All right, I'm going to show you the Brights, the Millers, all right, and you can see the Hicks. So the Brights, Millers, and the Hicks, all three of them is part of my father bloodline on that side. And mm, look at this. They're on the Dulce Road, too. Mm -hmm. And these niggas are Cherokee. Yeah. Uh-oh, the Brights are Cherokee. Uh-oh, let's just continue on. Wow. Uh-oh. Yeah. You saying I'm not who I say I am? Well, I'm getting ready to show you. Oh, here goes some Chickasaw. Here goes some Creeks. Okay, I got the but same blood line on both sides. Yet you carried the ball so the Johnny Cup lately could know what was going on. Right. This is the Miller clan of Cherokee. Back. Exactly. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It, it, and if you don't have any respect, you will after this presentation. Oh. Because ain't nothing you can say about this because this is DNA, Negroes. All right? So here. The Millers. The Millers. Who are they? they Cherokee, too. Yeah. Uh-oh, Cherokee, 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 Cherokee. Uh-oh, Cherokee. Mm-hmm. Cherokee, 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 Cherokee. Okay. Keep going on here. More Cherokee. Yeah. Okay. So they exclusively Cherokee. The Millers. Uh-oh, here go the Hicks. All right, not 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 the um, you know, when white people say that they are um, they just a what? They say they just the hillbilly Hicks. hillbilly uh, Hicks. Uh, no, I'm I'm the Hicks. All right, we for right. Nothing. They ain't, they ain't create nothing. They all late with their <laughs> term Hicks. The original they, French. Right, they ain't the original they French. They ain't the original <laughs> Hicks. They right, we, right. We are the Cherokee. Right. The Hicks are Cherokee, as you see here. Cherokee, 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 Cherokee. Keep going on, keep going on, keep going on. See, this is how you master the science of who you are. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching you the same time how to master this information. Nobody else has done this for you on YouTube. Cherokee, 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 Cherokee. Look at that. The Hicks are largely, exclusively Cherokee, it seems. Look at that. This is my bloodline. Lizzie Hicks. You see that? Wow. This is beautiful. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Look at that. Cherokee. So the Hicks are exclusively Cherokee, it appears. Oh, I'm sorry. And we're still going with the Cherokee with the Hicks. Look at that. See, this is my family bloodline. Oh, you look at that. Oh, we got a little bit of Chickasaw up in there. Now be to the Chickasaw. Look at that. Oh, now be to the Choctaw. Look at that. Oh, now be with the Creek and the Delaware Creek. Who is what? The Delaware Moors. Who are who? The Lenny Lenape people. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow. That ties right back into them. Now, whew. <laughs> I'm, shoot, I'm tired after all of that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? In a few. So I'm tired after all of that. You see? Mm -hmm. So right here. Now we're talking about the Washington side of the family. 
And for those who don't know about the Washington, let's let's break this down. Get the book Negro Question. I think this is part five. Right here. In the book it says dark equals black, swarthy equals black, rudy equals red. So right here, George Washington, this is the Library of Congress. All right, this is the real George Washington. All right. Jorge Washington. This is the real George Washington. Not this fake Washington that you've been used to seeing. All right? This is the black officers at Brandywine. And who is that? George Washington, based on the eyewitness all right, accounts of huge wine. All right? These was all the black generals during that time period. And George Washington was a black general. So Washington is not the real name of our first president. Because the one that you've seen up top was the first president. He was Washington. George Washington or Hey Hall Washington. This here is the fake Washington or fake Washington. And his name actually wasn't even Washington. It was what? Washington. 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 All right? It was D. Hartburn. How Washington became Washington. Mm. Now, who was actually Washington, all right, or Washington, you'll find out right here. We find out, according to the Empress, that Washington was actually Weissoff, Adam Weissoff, all right? According to this book, Cosmic Trigger, The Final Secret of the Illuminati by Robert Anton Wilson, this is him to the left, George Washington, who actually was George, Adam Weiss, Weissoff took his name, George, from his father. And he took the name Washington as a form of mockery to the Washington to upsert our power. And this actually was Adam Weissoff. All right? Adam Weissoff, the founder of the Barbarian Illuminati. He came here in the 1700s and upserted the Washington and the Republic and formed this democracy, this democratic society that we are in right now. And this was the final secret of the Illuminati. Well, God damn it, we bust that damn final secret up. It's over. Because this is why you find almost no Washingtons to be Europeans. Because Washington is not a surname of Europe. This is the local ancient American, American name. name. Wow. Proper pronunciation is Ueshetan, mm. but would have received his name from his mother, right here. The United States European Moors styled themselves after the indigenous. It means that the people of the light in the land of the ancient Egypt, the light of the world. This is ancient Egypt. This is why so many indigenous people have the surname Washington. So the Empress tells us that the Washington and Turnica which is Washington and Turner families carry the imperial bloodline. The imperial bloodline of who? Of the indigenous Americans. After the United States came to our land, the name was altered to Washington and Turner. They also changed the spelling of Washita and Ushita, a European misnomer that retained the pronunciation of the original name. Several deriv um, derivatives of the name of now appears as Washita, uh, Wichita, Utah, Etowa, Etc. The term Washington colloquially have come to mean ancient ones or the black ones. Clearly printed on the original map of the Spanish land grants. All right. The river named Rio or Rio Negro, River of the Blacks, is such, um, um, simultaneously, simultaneously labeled, labeled Rio, Rio Washita, River of the Washita. In the Egyptian comedic hieroglyphic um, dictionary, Washita appears is Usheta. All right, um, Sep, which is Shabbat, or Septi, becomes Shabazz. So even the lost and found tribe of Shabazz is talking about the Washita. Sorry, Nation of Islam. We're the ones who really have the land. We're not 501c3. Mm. Pre-Mayan spelling in our original Mu language were Ushita. All right, and which that in the ancient Orient is Shihawati. All right, Shiawati. Shiawati becomes the first sovereign empire of China. Now, who was that? That was the Shang 
dynasty. The Shang dynasty, as in Shango from out of Nigeria, the word China itself is Nigerian. So this Negro is talking about who's trying to steal the show, all right, and he ain't stealing nothing over here because he has no bloodline, and if he do, he need to show it and prove it. This is why I'm proving and showing who I am, DNA-wise, genetically, chromosome, historical, all right? Look at the word imperial. It says imperial of the likes pertaining to an empire. The empire what? The empire washed or deduct the money. Crown prince, Sultan Tupac Bey is white, my third cousin, of like and pertaining to an emperor or empress. So not only was I related to the crown prince, who is the king slash emperor, I'm also related to the empress. Wow. Isn't that something? Characterize the rule of authority of a sovereign state over its dependencies. All right, imperial, of related to an empire, emperor, empress, characterized of or befitting an emperor, majesty, all right, commanded. What is he, what is he, he's saying he's the imperial royal house of Turnica? How is that? He has to show us that he's related to the Turners. <laughs> I'm getting ready to show you I'm related to the Turners and the Washita and the Gaston and Prince Bay and the, Clark. And the Yorks. Uh-oh. 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 And Dr. York. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> now, let's continue on. Imperial. Relating to a government or country that controls or rule other countries. All right. Imperial. Expansion of American power. Expansion of traditions of Britain. All right. So we continue on. So the emperor says that she is related to Marie Antoinette. Who is Marie Antoinette? Well, she was part of the Holy Roman Empire and was part of the House of the Hashburgs. All right? And her father was Francis, as in my bloodline, Francis, of the Holy Roman Emperor. All right? So continue on, because remember, they only used the first names during these time periods and then your title. So Francis also was part of Emperor Francis, which is part of my last name, Francis. Oh, this is why I just told you all that. Marie Antoinette. The Empress was part of Marie Antoinette, which is of the Habsburg, which is of the Holy Roman Empire. So, so you can't get away from this. This is DNA right here. Contest by the Habsburg monarchy, all right, and Persia, a Prussia, all right. So right here, Louis Joseph Xavier Francis, all right. She gave birth to him, right. These are some of her other children, Francis. Um, Michael Gadney, all right, Jane Amilica, all right, who was a Senegal slave boy given to the Empress as a present, but she adopted him and also became her child, all right? Noble lady. Noble lady. Okay. She didn't keep him as a slave. Okay. She all right? turned him she to her baby. She turned into the baby. Her child. Her child, <laughs> all right, and became part of the royal bloodline, all right? So Prince Bay didn't know who he was. Because Prince Bay said he was bringing us into the royal bloodline of the Empress. Not but knowing, he know but then know I'm in already in the royal bloodline of the Empress. But well, not just that, he was bringing me into his royal bloodline, mm -hmm. in which we was already part of the royal bloodline from out of France. Everything happened for The me. Francis, which was the Huguenots, mm -hmm. who was in Louisiana, who married into the family of the Washita. Once again, all connected. So right here, you have to... Empress, and she says, Empire Washington, the Dick Dr. Moore, the ascent, um, ascendant of the Kushite Empire, the Songhai Mali Empire, the Ultima Empire, Morocco, the Washington, Dick Dr. Moore, Moors, also called the Choctaw, is in the tribe of Shabazz, the tribe of Hebrews or Israelites. I already told you this and I already proved it. Mm -hmm. All right, this is in the books. Lay claims to the following lands by and through bloodline. Since I'm in her bloodline, we claim the same thing. Her Majesty, Her Highness, the late Dr. Empress Verdi Asitiera, watch Torturnica Gaston L. Bay. And this is why I joked last week when I said, shit, you might as well just call me Osaru Alim, uh, watch Torturnica uh, Gaston L. Bay. Is the great, great granddaughter of Marie Antoinette, six times removed, and the rightful heir to the throne of France, Spain, and England by way of royal bloodline. So am I. Mm -hmm. So am I. Mm -hmm. She claimed land. Um, claim, um, lay claim to the following lands by and through bloodline. The Bourbon Estate, also known as the Imperial International Estate of the Bourbon Habsburg Empire, which included West Europe, 
the Bourbon estate, also known as the Imperial, uh, which was what? The Netherlands, the Belgians, Luxembourg, Switzerland, Germany, Italy, Sicily, Nepal, Sardinia, Spain, and Portugal, all of the same places, as well as most of the North America and Caribbean, in addition to the Central and South America, in all of North America, west of the Imperial Demarcation Line, 1713, of the British Royal Proclamation Line, 1763. This is the breakdown of the Royal Imperial bloodlines for the Watchtower Tournament Moors. The heir, the young heirs to the French throne. King Louis the Seventeenth married the young heiress of the Watchtower Tournica throne, Anna Maria. Oh wow, there it is. And now it's time. Knock all of this out the box. This is the so-called African features of the nobility of early Europe. And as you see here, read this for me. Images from Hold the blue black is black blood. Research from writers, researchers, publicists, Eggman, Cogfry. Sorry, y'all. I got to blow it up for for um, it can be seen as well as also read. This is who? Read that one. The images of Lepioid. Leopold. Okay, Leopold. Hasper. Okay. It was a holy... You want to blow it up again. No, I'm sorry. Emperor King of... It's kind of blasphemy. That's all right. Um, I guess... You probably can see it now. Okay. Oh my gosh, it seems like it out. Oh, right, I can see it. Okay. Leersburg, Hasburg, 1640-1705. He was the Holy Roman Emperor. Okay. King of Hungary. Okay. And King of Bolivia. He tried a... He was also a, a member of the original House of Hasburg. All right? Of the second son of the Emperor Fernandez III. So this is the same family in which that the Empress is referring to when she says she's part of the Hasburg family line mm -hmm. from out of Western Europe. I am as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's let's kill the noise on all of that. This is my, my kin too. Exactly. So when we talk about this land is your land, <laughs> <laughs> this land is our land. All right, so right here, my Washington, my Washington, Washington bloodline. Now we go to the Osar Alim El Bay DNA matches. Okay. All right, here it goes. Right here. Right, this is closer matches than four cousins. All right, this is 1,047 of them. Mm. All right, of the close cousins. All right. And it's the Washington. In fact, my biological second cousins through fifth cousins are the Washington, Washington, and Turner, Turnica families. Mm -hmm. Second cousin shares a great, what do a second cousin share? A great grandparent, third generation. At third cousin, you share great grandparents. And thus, my great grandparent would have been siblings. All right? And other brothers and sisters. Or rather, third cousin shares a great great grandparent fourth generation. So this is how you break that down in simple terms, as we spoke about earlier. So this is my extended family, which means right outside of my nucleus family is the Washington and Turnica family married back into each other. Mm. Oh, through my cousin, Donald Washington, Godfrey, and cousin Gloria Turner, mm. right here. What is that? Donald. Who is his family? Godfrey, Mary Lee Washington, and Joseph and Judge Godfrey. And who is this? Herman Turner mm -hmm. and Old May Scouter. And who is this? He married Gloria Turner. So the Washington and the um, Turners married back in through my cousin. There it is. Back in the um, back 1935. Into 1935. So there we go. We right during the time. So matter of fact, it was right during the time of the Empress being born. Okay. Around the rain, same time. See, this is what happened. So this is my cousin. Michael Irons, all right? Mm -hmm. Second cousin. Now, who is his family? William Edwards, Francis Washington. George, George Washington, Washington. Francis Washington. Exactly. And come on down. Smith, that's Cherokee. Yep. All right. So second cousin shares the same great-grandparent. Mm -hmm. Showing you that... I am Washington. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is me and my cousin, Angela Washington. 
Oh, shit, now. Oh, yeah. Relations, third cousins. Oh, third cousins mean, once again, great-grandparents and my great-grandparents would have been siblings, brothers and sisters. You get it? So on my father's side, I am a Washington. So kill the noise, Negroes. Okay. In the conscious community that got to say, mm, is Arlene a, a part of the Washington family? Yes, nigga. Hell yeah. I am part of the Heavenly, family. Yeah. Yes, heavenly, yes. <laughs> All right? So once again, third cousin. All right? You don't go LK. full fledged on something that right. You don't go full fledged if it ain't in your you right. If it ain't in your DNA and your okay. ancestors ain't commanding it. Okay. Come on, we all right. We, we spiritual being. Right. I've been connected. So faith. right here, B K Washington. This is also my third cousin, L K Washington, which is also my third cousin or second cousin, twice removed. All right. So once again. This is what we're talking about. Oh, me and Leah Washington, as you see here, our relationship. Oh, third cousin once removed. There we go. There it is again. Oh, there it is. Isaac Washington. George, go back to George Washington again. Uh-oh. Same bloodline. Same connection, y'all. V.H. Washington. All right. Third cousin, one time removed. Oh, there it is. Phyllis Washington. Uh-oh. Third cousin, one time removed. So when you say I'm not in the Washington family, God damn. Uh, here go Frank Washington. He Y'all should have known that who, was a lie. Right. Frank Washington, he looks just like Joe. Don't he? <laughs> Look just like Joe. Don't he? All right. And Joe acknowledge you and honor you as your title. Right, right. As my title, he called me Prince Salim. See, well, how we can avoid this? So, we show right here. honor and respect to those who brought you the information. Well, the that's, what, that's why I'm bringing the information. So, right here, me and Frank Washington, all right, we got quite a bit of chromosome connection there, DNA-wise, and he's my third cousin. Once removed, once again, third cousin is what? Means great-grandparents and his great-grandparents and my great-grandparents were who? Sisters. Brothers and sisters, niggas. You get this? You get this? They got it. I don't know. You know, I got to make sure that, that, you know, people are getting this. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to hear that bullshit no more. And if anybody who say anything, send them this video. That's what I'm like. And here it is. Call man. And here it is. We're from a school where they used to call George B. Him. Washington. Him George B. Washington. Here go Frank Washington, <laughs> in which that produced Frank Washington Jr., who is my third cousin. All right, so whoever said I'm not a Washington is a goddamn liar. Mm -hmm. All right, you can't get more close and connected than this second and third cousin, niggas. All right, second and third <laughs> cousin, how much more connection do you need? Right here, George Washington, Francis Washington, the same bloodline showing over and over again in all of these documentations that I'm showing you that I am a Washington. Ebony Washington, Richard Washington, Phyllis, um, um, Bruce, Ida, Bruce Jonathan. Uh, um, Jonathan, Ida Washington, Carrie Washington. Oh, these are all my cousins. Lakeisha, my second, son. third, fourth, and fifth cousins. Luba, Jamal, uh, yeah, keep going. Lamila. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Bernard, Rosetta. These are all my cousins, niggas. Hello. All right. So I am in the family of the Washington. All right. And I, just like we have pages and pages of clerks, we got pages and pages of Washington, and here go the Turners right here. Uh oh, uh oh, here go the Turners. Uh oh, can't can't pass the Turners. Merrill Turner. All right. Emma Turner. Timma Turner. Um, um, Robert Johnson Turner. Janetta Turner. Uh oh. Continue on now with the Turner side. All right. This is my Turner family. So this is now my third, fourth, and fifth cousins. Is the Turnica or Turner family? So we talking about the Royal House of Turner, the Imperial um, House of Turnica. How can he be the Royal House of Turnica and he even related to the Turners? Uh oh, uh oh. And if he is, tell him to prove it, cause I can prove my shit. Twenty you just, years, the proof. I mean, what you, you just mean? you just seen all my information. Family wise, I'm breaking this shit down. All right, where is his information? I'm showing you. I'm showing you mine. Turner, 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 Turner. You done helped a lot of people. Yeah, this is this is veteranship. 
More turners, more turners, more turners. So who is the Washington Turnica, which is my family bloodline? The carriers of the imperial bloodline. That's who we are. I am of the imperial bloodline. There's no doubt about that. All right? Look at this. This is me and Meryl Turner. All right? Who is she? My third cousin. All right? She could be the half third cousin or even half second cousin or second cousin. All right? So right here, this shows who she is to me. So I am a Turner. Second cousins, y'all. God damn. Come on. Right here, third cousin. Once we move a half third cousin, right? Once again here, third cousin, half third cousin, half second cousin, twice removed, a second cousin, three times removed. All right? This is once again who I am. Oh, now to get to the family of the Gulf Stones. Uh -oh. So not only am I a Clark, Francis, a Clark, which is Prince Bay's family, Clark, and he was the crown prince of the empire, of the empire washed or deducted money, meaning that I can take that title too, as well as also he was the founder of United Washed or deducted money, which I already have that title, crown prince. Now we get to the imperial seat of the Washita Turnica family, which I showed you and proved that I am. Now I'm showing you that I'm Gaston. I'm part of the Gaston family. Uh-oh. Who is John Gaston? John Gaston is the, was the husband of the Empress. And he was the son of Coretta Turner, who was the sister of, guess who? Prophet Noble Jirali. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> so right here, she is what? My third cousin, half cousin or half second cousin, second cousin, three times removed. So I am in the family. The Emperor's husband, John Gaston, is the sixth Marquis of Mason Rouge, and I am the eighth Mason Rouge, the royal heir. And have proof and have proven it. So easy for her to come into your dream. Right. And to cross over on your birthday. Right. She crossed over April the nineteenth on my born day, twenty fourteen. Showing these connections already. And I already had um um my one time best friend, his mom, all right, who we call Miss Johnson, she already told me because she prophesied Prince Bay's death and passing, and she also said that Whoever um, I think that I'm related to, I am related to. And I didn't even understand what she was talking about. I didn't understand that my third cousin, Prince Bay, was sitting in the store with me right then. All right? When she told me this, which was about maybe two to three weeks before the passing of Prince Bay. I didn't know that she was talking about that also. I was related to the Empress. Third cousins. And at the Empress Memorial Service, they slandered Dr. Ali through the whole entire ceremony. That again shows you how valuable he is to this movement. And it didn't do nothing but elevate us even and, higher. And now that it can be proven I'm a Washington Turnica or Washington Turner family member, I'm also Prince Bay's family member. So I've tied both family lines into one. I'm the concentration of seven generations on my mother's side, seven generations on my father's side. And I got damn it just proved it. Prince Bay is my third cousin. The Empress is my third cousin. No you wonder. get this? No wonder. So this is the truth of the matter. Nobody can take anything away from me. And why are you trying? And why are you even trying? Because it's beyond me. Tell me you are the eighth Mason, uh, uh, Marquise of Mason Rouge. How? When you're not even in the bloodline. I am. So that's the first problem right there. You're going to have to do a video showing... The same information I'm showing that you are part of the bloodline, showing that you are Gaston, which I've just showed you, with who's the Empress' husband, John Gaston, who was the six Marquis. I just showed you that I'm related to the Empress, Washington. I just showed you I'm related to the Empress, Turner, Turnica. Hence, the Imperial Royal House of Turnica is us, as Prince Bay called us and named us. I'm also related to Noble Dr. Ali through John Gaston, who is related as a third cousin of mine and fourth cousin of mine. 
And the second, be wary of people trying to slander during a pandemic. Right. Why fight in the midst of a fight? That don't make no sense. But people don't realize that. They're too busy fighting. Too busy fighting. <laughs> trying to debate. But see, this is why I'm showing you information that can't be debated. Can't be debated. All right, here we go. So as you see, my cousin, Vicky Young, who is my third cousin, is related to who? Timothy Gaston. Okay. And who? Ali Jane Gaston. Okay. So, and who? Walter Gaston. Gaston. And who? Gussie, Gussie Gaston. Gaston. So, I am part of the same family as John Gaston, who is known as the Marquis of Maison Rouge, or Maison Rouge. And he was the sixth. Prince Babe was the seventh. And I am the eighth. Mm. Oh, damn, he was trying to steal your damn. Trying to steal my, an, my ancestral line? Wow. Are you silly? Wow. Well, what it was, was you wasn't on Facebook, so he was like, now's my chance. Mm. He pulled a, a what was that, LL Cool J, and what's the other dude there? <laughs> oh, um, uh, uh. Damn, we don't even remember that nigga name no more. That's what's going to happen, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to build your own legacy. Right, build your own legacy. Damn. But you can't build it here. Not disrespectfully. Right, so here it is. Return of the Ancient Ones, and as you see, the family line, Empress says, my only son, Frederick Joe Washington, grandchildren, Frederick N. Washington, Wendy, Francia, Fresca, Washington, and Wendy is the Empress granddaughter. granddaughter, but now she is the Empress herself of the Empire Washington, hi cuz, Eric Washington, then you have daughter-in-law, Right? Georgia, Georgia Dean Washington. You have the sister. And who's the sister? Matilda Francis Butler. Butler. Now, my father, Butler. guess what? Is Ronald Butler. Uh oh. So not only am I married into the family, I'm also in the family. Uh oh. Because they came back around and made sure they got everybody. Uh -oh, what, 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 do, what do the um, little um, African dudes say on D.L. Um, Hughley show? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't stand D.L. He wilded out. So right here, brother is, so we married, my father is Ronald Butler, who's related to Matilda Francis Butler by way of marriage into the wash store as this is her, what's her sister. Now look down here and you will see the nieces is Linda Butler. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. So direct they have direct bloodline. So direct bloodline. My father is Ronald Butler. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, you can't can't fuck with this. Now my father was Ronald Butler, and thus. Related to the Empress' to the sister, Empress sister. Matilda Francis Butler, via her husband, a butler, and niece, mm -hmm. Linda Butler. So this is how we are also part of the family. So notice I'm part of the Gaston family. Uh-oh. I'm part of the Butler family. The I'm part of the Washington family. The I'm Turner. part of the Turner family. God damn. God bless. Here goes the butler. Yes, God bless. God, is God bless you. Bless. Bless you. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> so here. Here's the butler. Notice, this is, this is my bloodline once again. All right? <laughs> so my father is, a, is Ronald Butler, and this is the butlers. This is third, fourth, fifth family members of the butlers. All right? Right there on what we refer to as Ancestry.com. So here it is. These are the butlers. Showing, oh, and I'm also related to Ronetta Bagby. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, the so Bagby Bagby, the Bagby Bay, the Bagby Bay, uh oh, uh oh, here's the family of the Yorks, Ooh. as in Dr. York, Ooh. uh oh, Ooh. me and Pamela York, uh oh, uh -oh. we are what? Third cousins. Wow. 
Uh oh, or either half second cousins or second cousins three times removed. Uh oh, uh oh. The great minds. Oh, the great minds. They have great minds because of their bloodlines. Great minds because of the bloodlines. Uh oh, Samantha York, Devin York, Dora York. Oh, yeah. So I'm related to the York side too, as Ooh. in Ben York, who the Empress said she was related to, the Ben Yorks. And also, um, Dr. York said he was related to Dwight York, as he's called, was related to Ben York. So I'm related to the Yorks. Oh, and the Moore family. Oh, and the Moors, as in the Moore family. Oh, and matter of fact, when you say that we're not Moors, but yet you got the Moors here in the United States, and it says English from Middle English, it says white. Hence the topographic name for someone who lived in such a place or habitual name, Moor, Marsh, Finn, area of uncultivated land, the Middle English Moor. The Latin term denoted a native of northwestern Africa, but in medieval England, the word comes to be used informally as a nickname for any swarthy or dark-skinned person. Mm. English, from a personal name, Latin Morus Moor, Moor, the name was born by various early Christian saints. The personal name was introduced to England by the Normans. By the Normans. Now, remember, go back to the movie The Black Knight with Martin Lawrence. He was from Normandy, and they said, you more, you more, and then he said that the way he kept saying it, he said, yo, I'm beginning to start to hate this word more, and this is exactly what these Negroes have done. They begin to start hating the name more. They begin to start hating the name people, more, hating period. The people. Right. This is what happened. So now we see, now how all these niggas in North America with, these name, with this name more ain't more. When they just finished saying that. Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm whooping ass Give today. Me, I'm whooping ass today, Brother L. I'm whooping ass today, Brother L. Ain't nobody can bypass this. This is DNA now speaking. DNA is speaking now. Okay. The truth is stranger than fiction, niggas. All right? Because, see, this is how DNA speaks to you. So if you say who you are, I believe it. Okay. All right? If the DNA is speaking through you. But if you damn uh, schizophrenic, uh -oh. like, like this nigga who's talking about that he's the eighth uh, uh, Marquis of D, uh, um, D Mason Rouge, you know what I'm saying? He's delusional. I'm not. I can prove who I am. Okay. And this is why I said last week that, oh, I know who I am. You move how you am. Right. You move who you are. Once you are in tune, you move with the ancestors. They move with you. Anybody can move me from out of anything because okay. I am who I say I am. Put right. You ain't put there. me in there. Prince Bay put me there. The Empress put me here. All right. So here, similar names. What is that? Moors. Yeah. Okay. So M O O R E is M O R. An honor. All right. So okay. look at this. Read this. You what can the see family. how the Moors family moved over time by selecting different census years. The Moore family name was found in the U.S., the U.K., Canada, Scotland between the years of 1840 to 1920. The Moore's family were found in the U.S. in 1880. Wait, wait, wait. So the Moore's Moore's family was found in the U.S.A. So you're not a Moore when the most Moore's families was found here? Hold up, keep going. In the 19, in 1840, there were 994 more families living in New York wow. alone. Alone. This was about 11% of the recorded Moors in the USA. And what? New, New York, York has, has the, the highest, highest population of Moors, Moors families in 1840. Wow. So for those who are related to the Moors, you're not a Moor? Tribe name. Montauk. The Montauk. Right. The Shinnecock. Ooh. The Montauk and the Shinnecock. These was Moors. The Lenapis, the Lenny Lenapis from out of Delaware and Maryland, there was Moors. These in the so-called New York area, the Mohawk, the Mohican, these was Moors. See, this is, this is how you prove this over and over again. See, this is real knowledge here. You got four. The Moor surname. This article is about the surname for people who share this surname. Moors is a popular English language surname. It is the 34th most common surname in Australia, 32nd most common in England, and was the 16th most common surname in the United States in 2000. Oh, wait. So the 16th most, most common name in the United States is the word Moors, and yet you're not a Moor? 
When it's the 16th most common name in the United States? Can't do it by yourself. And you're not related to the Moors? I, I, can, I, I just proved to you that I'm related to the Moors. <laughs> by way of family bloodline, all right, and name. It was. It has several meanings in derivative in, der, in der, deviation, as it appears as a surname long before written language. Long before long written language. Long before written language. In most of the populations, resulting in a variety of spellings. Indigenous again. Indigenous again. They already telling you this. So when you say you're not a Moor, you better look at your bloodline, niggas. Here it is. In the United States, Moors ranked ninth. Among all surnames in the, 18, in the 1990 census. So it was the ninth most abundant name at one time in the 1990s, y'all. Ooh. The ninth, not the 16th. It done went down, went, done went down. But it was the ninth at one time in the 1990 census. Wow. All right? So, but y'all know we be hiding in that census now. Right. But, but, <laughs> but obviously, you are a more. There is no doubt about this. Right? Let's go to the book of Jewish. Let's go to the book of Jewish and crypto Jewish surnames and look at for the name Moors. Let's look what it says. Read it. Moor is a British owl surname from Old French Moor Latin Moor, meaning either swathy or Moor. Oh, Moor. You see that? So when you say you're not a Moor, you're not swathy? You're not an M O O R Moor? You ain't chocolate? Right. Other other deviations are dweller by the moorlands or worker at the mirage. It was the moorage. It was the name of a popular sixth cent. Saint, Saint. And appears first in the Templar record of 1185. Rini and Wilson of England surnames, page 313. Moor with a E. Moor, M-O-R-E. Moor, M-O-O-R. O-Moor. Moors, Moors, and more. Oh, more, oh, more. It's so many variations. And then it says more. Right, right here. More was the ninth most common surname in the U.S. in 1990. So there it is again. So the so so all these Moors that that we're related to, as you see, goes now to the 103 amazing facts about the Black Indians of the Western Hemisphere. All right, right here it says. In 1676, the native race of New England was spoken of indifferently as Indians and Moors. And our British Indians also remembered as Moors. So it showed you over and over again that we were the Moors. The term Moors was applied to dark-skinned, brown-skinned, and reddish-brown-skinned people who were not only indigenous to Europe, but to the West and North Africa. Even black Indians of the Western Hemisphere were also dabbed with this title, Moor. Ooh, the original indigenous people in Europe. Of Europe. Melanated. Right, melanated. Stonehenge. Oh, you, oh, shit. There Tell you go. That's true. Mm. That's true. So here go my cousins who was Moors. You and Sherry Moore, 30 CMEs. Good God Almighty. This means she's my third cousin. Mm hmm. Or either my half second cousin. All right, twice move a second cousin three times removed. That's my cousin right there. Mm-hmm. Here go another cousin, Keon no s'more. All right, third cousin, one time removed or uh, a uh, half third cousin. All right, they go um Elenia uh uh, uh more. All right, um third cousin one time removed half third cousin. They go Corey. They go Evelyn Moore. They go the Moors. They met the Moors. <laughs> oh, they go all the Moors in my bloodline. More, you say more. you saying no more? God damn it, I'm a Moor. Obviously, I'm a Moor because look at all of these Moors. God damn. Look at them. Tanzania. You know, Tanzania. Right. Oh, we got plenty of Moors. Erect Moor. Uh, yeah, Man, Crystal Moor. All right. Reginald, Reginald Moor. Oh, Moore. Pa- Pamela Moor. So oh, Moore. and oh, oh, oh. And then you go to the Doss Road. Go to the Doss Road. And who do you find? Bro, drum roll. Oh, drum roll. The oh, Moors, oh. niggas. Oh, yeah, see? You see how, see, I'm, I'm destroying every misconception today in the so-called conscious community. Here it is. Doss Mo- Road. Look at all of these moors. Yeah, they can come off the foolishness. Yes, come off the foolishness, moors. Come off the foolishness, moors. This is DNA speaking. You can't bypass DNA. Go on and say, oh, nigga, that's some fake shit. That's DNA. But it, oh. Yeah, go ahead, niggas. No, that's us. 
Say what you want to say. Moors. This is real. No We're doubt. Of these Moors that I'm related to, that's part of the Dos Row, that's part of my bloodline lineage, and Moors means land, land means Moors. We've shown you this over and over again many of times. So this is just what it is. All right? So um, go back to the book of Jewish and crypto-Jewish surnames again. And this is to one of my favorite chiefs. All right? We're going to go to, well, first, before I get to there, we're going to go to the family of Ray. Just like this Bay Day, there's also Ray, which has been spoken of. Mm -hmm. But the name Ray is a Sephardic name, a Sephardic name, all right, in which that Ray means king, mm -hmm. all right? Of course, that is after Ray, as in the um, name Ray of Ra. Ra is Ray, R-E is R-A within the ancient Kemetic script, all right? And where are the rays? The rays is from out of Portugal and Spain, mm -hmm. Italy area, as you see here. Ray means what? Surname derived from the Latin regis, which means royal. So I have rays in my family. So not only am I a day, I'm a ray. Bay, bay, bay. Right, so I'm a ray, day, and bay, niggas. <laughs> you don't like it too bad. You can't. Washington, you can't. Washington, right, I'm Washington. Anna. Right, I'm Washington and Turnica. I'm a York. I'm also a guy that going Clark. I'm everything. I'm a Francis. <laughs> All right, so I'm sorry. This and is that's just, why we are here inspiring. This is the DNA. This is why we're able to do everything we do because we are related to it all. The Spanish word ray means king, while written at Rihanna means queen. Bearing the name does not necessarily imply royal ancestry. However, as when surnames first began to be used in the medieval Spain, nicknames were often taken on as surnames. However, Ray is that name because you just seen the family crescent and arms. Show you another picture of the arms and crescent of the Ray. And as you see, that castle, which means what? Royalty. The royalty, nobility. sorry. Right, that means you see the nobility. Me and Jeff uh, Ray, uh-oh, who is he? He's my third cousin once again, second cousin, twice removed. Uh-oh, there it is, Ray, again, third cousin, once again, second cousin, um, removed. So these are my second cousins and third cousins, y'all. The Rays are my second and third cousins. And that show again, once again, the royal line. This is the royal line from out of Spain and Portugal, France. Um, showed you, I showed you the royal line from France um, with the Huguenots. I showed you the royal line from um, the Habsburgs um, through the emperors of the Washita and Turnica bloodline. God damn it, this is royalty all together. And if I ain't supposed to be crown prince, then God damn it, how I got the title. Ooh. I'm just saying. Ooh. Pin drop. All right, so. You can hear me. Mm. Here? Okay. I see all the. Fourth cousin, third cousin, twice removed, third cousin, half third cousin. Showing you over and over again. Ladies to raise. Fourth cousin. Fourth cousin, third cousin, twice removed, half second cousin. Could be, this is once again the book of crypto Jewish surnames and who be fine. Uh oh. Me and the guy. Known as uh, 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 Arishas, I'm gonna get to him in a second. But we have um, also I'm related to the Acosta, and who's the Acosta? They are from Portuguese and the Spanish, and I am related to the Portuguese and the Spanish on um, family bloodline once again. And this is my second cousin, y'all. Here it is, 51% related of the Acostas. All right, it says could be one first cousin, three times removed, or half first cousin, twice removed. All right, I have second cousin. So this is my family. He go to Acostas and Acostas right here. Here they are. All right. So these are the roots of Islam in America, the Turks, Moors, and Maristos in early America. So we know we was here. So this is my bloodline. And it says here we have no conclusive evidence that any of the Drake liberated Turks, Moors, or possibly Maristos remain behind at Roanoke and established roots in America. But the mysterious Melungeons of the Appalachian and their cousins, the Lumbies of North Carolina trace their roots to the Roanoke and possibly um, have the greatest claim to the Drake um, legacy. Both um, Melungeons and Lumbie um, and the dates British settlements in, in um, America. So we was here before the British settlements. 
make up of unique population that was distinct from white, black, and Native American. For centuries, Melungeon and Lumbees have proudly identified themselves as who? Portuguese. They have been widely regarded to have what? Moorish roots. God damn it. You see that? Now, look at this. This is all of my relations inside of the book of the of the Jewish, which actually is the Hebrew Israelite bloodline, and all of these people here are Melungeons. Read this for me. The composition of the community were augmented over the intervening centuries by Sephardic Jews and Moors were and Moors graded from such ways stations as now. This is in the book, y'all. The Low Countries, Germany, France, Italy, Greece, and England after fleeing the Iberian Peninsula due to religious persecution. And the Iberian Peninsula is where? Portugal and Spain, y'all. Many landed in Maryland, the Carolinas. What? They landed where? In Maryland. The Carolinas. In the Carolinas, South and North Carolina. These are the Huguenots again, over and over, y'all. Virginia, Virginia. And made a beeline to Tennessee where the Cherokee Indians were known to be welcoming of Jews. Right. Following is the last of, of the Hebrews, not the yeah, of the real Jews. Of the, the real Jews. Jews. We didn't say Jewish. Right, not we Jewish. Said Jews. Right, Jews. The Hebrews, the Israelites. Now what it says right Following here? is the list of Melungeon surnames. Of Melungeon surnames. That Look at it. Circulated in the early days of the internet list servers around two thousand. Adam, now, all, now, all, now, all of these that is in highlights are related to me in bloodline. Ooh. Now, listen, read the names. Adam, Allen, Adkins, Almond, Ashworth, it, Barker, Barnes, Bass, Beckler, Bedgood, Bell, Bennett, Berry, Beverly, Biggs, Bolin, Boiling, Boone, Bowman, Bagby, Brantham, Brave Boy, Bridger, Brogan, Brooks, Brown, Brunch, Butler, Butters, Butler. Now remember, my father is Ronald Butler. Boolean, Burton, Buxton, Bird, Campbell, Cario, Carter, Castell, Caudill, Chapman, Chavis, Clark, Cloud, Cole. Coles, Coffee, Coleman, Collie, Collier, Collins, Collinsworth, Cookie, Just Cooper, Coxman, Cox, Curry, Crow, Davis, Dalton, Dennis, Dye, Epps, Evans, Fields, Freeman, French, Gann, Garland, Gibbs, Gilson, Goins, Graham, now, Green. Any of, now, if you have any of these names, y'all, that means that you're part of the Melungeon Moorish bloodline, Hebrew Israelite bloodline. Continue on. Paul, Harmon, Harris, Harvey, Hawks, Hendricks, Hill, Hillman, Hoggy, Hoagie, Holman, Hopkins, Howe, Hyatt, Jackson, James, Johnson, Jones, Keith, Kennedy, Longston, Lassie, Lawson, Locklear, Loops, Larry, Lucas, Maddox, Marsh, Martin, Mills, Moore. Moores. You Nash. get it? Moores are the Melungeons too. Continue. Nash, Nelson, Newman, Noel, Norris, Perry, Phillips, Pender, Polly, Powell, Powers, Pritchard, Ramsey. Wow. Now, if you Reeves, did. Mm-hmm. Richardson, Robertson, Robin, Russell. Samson, Scott, Sexton, Shepherd, Short, Smith, Stanley, Steele, Stevens, Tally, Stewart, Taylor, Tyson, Turner. Turner, y'all. Turner's Melungeon. All right, as you see here. Watts, Weaver, White, Wilkins, Williamson, Willis, Wise, Wood, Wright. All right, so. As you also see, Coleman is listed there mm-hmm. and this is something which that me and Orisha's Coleman who is actually Orisha's I mean Bay now who is one of our chiefs have spoken about just this past weekend this past week all right so when you go into this family bloodline Ruby Russell which is one of my family members um, we find also Coheen which is Gordon Henderson mm-hmm. Brown Burnett who and and um proper Burnett um, Prophetess Burnett, that was my um, my um, godmother too. Mood Chisholm, Ray. all right. Chisholm and Pollock, all right. Chisholm was my grandma's name. See, 
stewards. You see, they're stewards. I have stewards in my family. This is part of that same bloodline, as in King James Stewart. All right? Lewis, Mitchell, the Leaf surname derived from the Hebrew tribe of Levi. All right? So we're showing you over and over again. So I'm part of the Dave's lineage by name, patriarchal or on patrilineal side. My name at birth, according to my aunt, would have been Damien Days, Days as in the Days, um, Moorish bloodline, the Days of the Moors. I'm from the Huguenots royal family. My bloodline, named Francis, proves too that I am Hebrew, Israelite, Moor by blood, having the bloodline of the Moors family, wise too. I am the third cousin to the crown prince, Hutan Tupac Bey, ex-real, um, Prince Ramesses Abel Bay, Miss Noma, Elliot Claiborne Clark on my mother's side, Michelinio. I am the third, fourth cousin to the Empress Verdiasi, thus meaning I am the cousin to Prophet Nobudra Ali, who is a Turner, Turnica family member as well. I am a Cherokee, um, like Crown Prince Bay and Prophet Nobudra Ali, who was raised on the Cherokee Reservation. All right, so I'm also um, part of the York bloodline. So who are you? Oh, who are you? Who are you? Who cares? You? Who cares? Well, I mean, Keep this, this, name this, out this, this, right, exactly. You ain't got to prove who you are by disrespecting nobody. Right. But you do got to prove who you are if there's doubt. And build. Right. Build. So, so now maybe we can build. Since I do have these family bloodlines by DNA proven. Mm -hmm. This is facts. All right, so this is also from the fact that um, one of my most motivated chiefs, <laughs> Arishas, um, we come to find out that we are cousins also. All right, um, here we have my third cousin, um, all right, or Coleman's, and we have my third cousins, fourth cousins, and fifth cousins are all Coleman's here. So the Coleman's are also related into my family bloodline. Mm. Arishas is a Coleman. And we had pages and pages of this over and over again. I just wanted to say that, that many of y'all, see, this is how, now how could it be that me and Arishas hooked up, not even realizing that we was cousins because we talking about DNA flowing. Mm -hmm. We talking about these divine connections. Mm -hmm. All right? And then he becomes the chief in United Washington. This is in his lineage. This is in his bloodline, too. He felt it. Mm -hmm. He couldn't explain it. I couldn't explain it. But here are the DNA tests in order to prove who we are, mm -hmm. who I am specifically, for those who have doubted for all these years that I've worked hard, which is nearly 30 years of me working, getting this information out. Mm -hmm. Having getting this information out through VHS tapes, mm -hmm. That's through cassette tapes, <laughs> through CDs, through DVDs, through YouTube, through StreamYard, through Instagram, through lectures, lectures books, through books, through pamphlets. That VHS show how long you've been doing it now. Right. <laughs> so so I, I just wanted to, you know, show that, too, that this is in our bloodline. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For me and Arisha to come together, you know what I'm saying, and he came this past year to the conference, you know. Now, this is another brother, a Kakos, all right, and he's a Cree. And he reached out to me after I did um, one of my last videos. And this is him here. Now, this is what he showed me. Now, he's a Cree, all right? Not Creek, but Cree, which I'm sure is still connected. So he said, what's my DNA test? I have African ancestry, brother. I did it and came, um, um, came from my spit, bro. <laughs> so <laughs> that's and that's how easy it is, right? That's why it don't make no sense that they going all the way up your nose with this foolish with this COVID shit. Exactly. Let me spit in the tube and ladies. don't do that either, right? So right here, check this out. My migration of my maternal, maternal line. He says, "Haplo 
group is 180,000 years ago. Yes. 180,000 years ago. And then, now, understand, he just said that he was African. So but did. where was he African at? He was African here. He was from the matriarchal bloodline here in the Americas. Because there were no Native Americans 180,000 years ago. Right. So he understand that it's from the African ancestry bloodline. That's why he lived with them. From the African bloodline. From 200,000 so years ago. Right, that was already Africans, already here. Already. Already here. All right? He, if he, every person living today could trace his or her maternal line back it over would be thousands two. of generations. Right. It would be. It would all be. of our lines would meet right. at a single woman. Right. Who's so, melanated. Right. But even then. You got to show the most up to date bloodline. That means and you more of you are the origin of us. Our strength gonna look like everything. Right. It's all encompassed. Right. So he shows me just the last part, y'all. He, show he shows me um the, the connections, global the global ancestry, and I'm gonna show you. Oh. All right. So read read that. Bacon, he has twenty four percent. West African, twenty one percent. Native peoples of the Andes is twelve percent. Native peoples of Amazon and the Caribbean, ten percent. Japan and Korea, nine percent. China, six percent. And West Asia is four percent. All right. So that's his connections, y'all. All right, and he would be what you could what you would consider. Native American. Yeah, he looked like right? it. Right. But he, that ain't the. That he, ain't, and we was he fooled would be, right. into thinking that's how it looked. He would be called Native American. But yet he has but 20, looks like 1 to 22% African DNA in him, y'all. Okay. 22% African DNA. But yet he would be considered. Looks like this. Right. <laughs> you know it looks like this. I just proved it. <laughs> All right. So, right here. All right. So, are there any questions about anything that we've gone over today? I've showed you how to utilize your information historically as well as also DNA-wise. Did, did, did you find a name Herring in there? I doubt um, it. <laughs> um, no, I didn't find the name Herring. Um, I, but you well, that's, can my go, that's my father's you, side anyway. Right, that's your father. You, need, you probably need father, to move your mother's mother side. Father. And then the grandparents' um, names, too. Right. Right. All right. So any um, questions concerning anything? Yeah, Dr. Uh, Ali. Something at all, brother. As far as my concern. Oh, go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. Oh, my bad, my bad. Jeff, be here. Yes. Dr. Ali is saying that down to your basically seven cousin because you see the seven everybody gen- within what is referred to as seven generations would be considered brothers and sisters and I just showed you my DNA bloodline within first second third and fourth cousins being related to the Washington's which is the Washita being related to the Turners which is the Turnica as is we are called the Imperial uh, Royal House of Turnica as well as also to um, Prince Bay being the crown prince um, related to the Clarks, which is also through the Cherokee, the Creek, and the Chickasaw, the Choctaw, and the Seminole, the so-called five civilized tribes, which is all part of the, remember, the, at least three of those five was part of who? The Treaty of Camp Holmes or the Treaty of the Wichita. Remember that. So I'm showing you all my ancient and recent modern connections to the families in which that would be the, imp- the Empress, who is also Washita, also Turner, Turnica. She was married to John Gaston, who I showed you was also my cousin. John Gaston, who was also third and fourth cousins. You see that? This is the, these are the divine connections, y'all. It can't go outside of this. This is DNA. So this is proving who I am as far as my patriarchal and matriarchy, matriarchal lineage. Prince Bay 
is my third cousin on my mother's side. The Empress is my third cousin, along with Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Her husband, John Gaston, all of them on my father's side. So I am a family member. There's no doubt. So I say to Joe Frederick or, uh, 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 or Frederick Joseph Washington, as he's also named, the emperor's only son, I say, hey, cuz. Okay. I say to Wendy, his daughter, Wendy Washington, hey, cuz. Dr. Saraline, new Tupac L. Bay, is in your family line. I am your cousin. Mm -hmm. Let's get this shit together. Ooh. No more burning bridges. I'm here to, hell, matter of fact, my DNA built the bridge. You ain't sleeping Because we're talking about it's Crown hard Prince. To burn, it's hard to burn, to ask people not to burn bridges when you ain't been the slanderer. Right. I haven't slandered and don't have to. And this is obvious based on my DNA and genetics proving who I am. However, we time now, it is time now to bring this shit together. All right? As we see, this cracker is moving. His new world order agenda, mm -hmm. we need to be moving ours also at the same time. Sure do. You no, know, got no more time to be down bickering and debating. We need to be moving forward and making sure that we doing what we need to do for our people and each other. Easier said than done. Yeah, Doc, I mean. done, but but hopefully we can make it work. You know, um, for those who are serious, obviously this is why you're on the line. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're the serious yeah. ones. So, you know, um, and I'm pretty sure if you tap into your ancestry um, and connect the pieces of the puzzle, you'll find some of the same connections. And this becomes imperative because this shows that we are one family working together, trying to make things better for ourselves and for our future generations. Remember, we are responsible as our seven generations. We're responsible for the seven generations that will precede us, our future seven generations. We are responsible for seven generations stability. We're talking about 140 years into the future. We are responsible for. This is what I showed you was this past 140 years of my ancestry, me being seven generations on my father's side and making up seven generations on my mother's side, and I am a concentration of those 14 generations here and now. This is why I am who I am now. I'm showing you my genetic DNA makeup and the reason why I am who I am. Mm -hmm. This is the key. And how all these things, the ancestors moved me into all these positions because of my connection to them and vice versa. Because mm -hmm. it's through and me. You will be thorough. Right. It's through me in which that those future generations can come forth and manifest. Consistent. Right. And non-contradictory. Right. So this is the science, y'all. All right? Mm -hmm. um, we have the some things we need to do. Yes. Yes, I was, I was thinking, uh, I was looking at Thanksgiving, and I was sometimes trying to correct some brothers to uh, think about Thanksgiving. I said our ancestors is the one that introduced Thanksgiving to the Europeans. Right. Not the other way around. The Europeans right. did not introduce Thanksgiving to us. We introduced right. Thanksgiving to them. Right. And then they turned around trying to make mockery of it. Right. By right. slaughtering a lot of our people. Exactly. On that date. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. And remember, this this so called country, which I hate to use the word country because it's not really a country, um, each so called state would be considered a country, or in our case, each territory would be considered a country. Um, we don't correlate with the terms state only by way of us forming um, the Huguenots, as we showed you earlier, are the ones who formed um, the Stuarts and the Huguenots are the ones in which that, which is the um, European bloodline, are the ones who formed the 13 colonies, and they was Moors. I've showed that through my bloodline. Otherwise, I wouldn't be as dark as I am now, y'all. <laughs> so we was Moors. There's no doubt about that. You might You're well entrenched. Right, More right. Well entrenched to the Americas. Well entrenched you know, to the Americans, yeah. right. Exactly. So There's no Dan, doubt about that. Dan Calloway can shut his mouth. Right. <laughs> this, this is what we just showed. Anybody who's saying otherwise can't prove it through DNA, 
then they need to shut their mouths up because that means that they're just talking out the, as they say, talking um, out the side of their neck. Dun, 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 exactly. Dun dun dun. Talking out the side of your neck. Dun dun dun. dun, dun, dun. So, so, so. <laughs> y'all know we love the trip, y'all. All right, so you know we we got a little bit of jokey joke up in here before this seriousness, but um we got to go, y'all. So we're gonna talk to y'all later. Um, A.I.T. Washington East to everyone. We love you. A.I.T. Washington East. Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all too. Washington East. Thank you. 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 Thank you.